video to everybody that is currently stuck on the activation screen in activation lock. Now I've been asked over and over about this and it's basically a new feature in iOS 7 that Apple introduced to basically keep thieves at bay. Now the only problem is people that buy an iPhone and then restore it are stuck in this exact same screen even if you bought it legitimately. Now the only problem is it's not easy to remove. You have to contact the old owner, but if you buy it and you don't have an old email or something to contact them by, you're stuck. You're basically bricked with a several hundred dollar phone. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to bypass this screen and contact the previous owner, and hopefully you can get all of that resolved. Now believe it or not, I've had so many people ask me about this that I actually went out and bought an activation locked iPhone just for the purpose of this video. Now in the first part of this process, we're basically gonna start over, and on this screen, you wanna triple click the home button, and it'll turn on activation lock. Now go ahead and turn it off, so triple click once more, and that'll disable it. Now you wanna go ahead and select on English, just go through, select on United States or wherever you're at, click next on Wi-Fi, and on this screen, click the home button and select emergency call. Now we do actually need to connect to emergency services, but don't worry, it never actually connects. So if you do have a SIM card inside of your phone, go ahead and remove it, otherwise it will interfere. Dial 112 and immediately press the power button twice, just like that and it'll go ahead and turn off and slide to unlock inside you'll now be in the phone application now in here you want to create a new contact you can just leave it blank go ahead and select done and now this is where we go ahead and activate the voice control feature triple click the home button now select block this caller and then double tap it next you'll get a confirmation for the block select it once and then triple click it and immediately you'll be booted to the home screen. Now be careful, you don't wanna press the home button once, you can go ahead and triple click it to disable voice control, but in the meantime, don't press it at all. So you're in iOS 7 right now. However, you can't actually really do anything besides open newsstand, and you can just press the power button and slide to unlock and you'll be back in the home screen. You can't actually open any applications or anything like that, but there is a reason I made you guys do this. <laughs> You know how on the iCloud sign-in page you can't actually see the email? Well, once you do get inside, you can go ahead and open up FaceTime, and if you're lucky, the old owner will have been signed in before, so you'll be able to see their email right there and contact them. So go ahead and slide over to FaceTime, and in here you'll have access to the previous owner's email. So go ahead and email them, say something like, hey, I just have your iPhone, and it would be really nice if you could remove it from your iCloud sign-in. Maybe send them a link to an Apple page which shows them how to do that or a video. So this is your best shot at actually fixing this problem instead of just tossing your iPhone aside and not doing anything at all. However, I did buy this iPhone solely for the purpose of fixing activation lock, so I'll be sure to keep looking for any new method to do that. Now, if you do press the home screen, it will freeze your device. Go ahead and reboot it. Normal.